Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I have a haul from Friday and Saturday to share with you. I stopped by the thrift store on the way home from work on Friday and I found this frame. I love that it has the shell and the dark background. I've never seen anything like this. It's on a stand. Now if it is a picture frame, it's obviously missing the glass and the backing, but that's just really easy to cut something in stick it in there. Um, I just like it as a sculptural piece as well. So I think I'll just display it and then uh, could be nice to put some type of pin or jewelry in there for display as well. No markings on it. And I paid $3 for it. At the moving estate sale, this is what I purchased for a dollar. It's from Tucson. And it's just crazy that you just basically write somebody's name and city and it would get there. And that's how big the whole envelope is. That. <laughs> and it is a birth announcement <clears throat> from 1917 to announce the arrival of Nathan no, William um, Sunday morning, 8.30, June 10th, 10 pounds, 1917. And then that's it. Nothing on the inside. I just thought it was so cool how small it was. And it's a set that obviously goes together and is meant to be folded because the envelope has that blue outline, just like the note. I went to the estate sale and I spent $17. This, um, $4. And it reminded me of the one that I saw that was a little bit bigger at an antique store. And then it even has the little pieces here that turn to support the leaf when it's open. And they only had $4 on this, but it is a little bit smaller. But I thought, you know, possibly it's older. Could be really neat to put that on top of something so you can display something under it and then something on top. I mean, even just as a nice riser, but around the fall when you want the warm colors. Hardback books were $2 and they counted this as a book. It um, is actually a National Geographic magazine map holder. So that's really interesting, you know, how sometimes the maps are in the magazines and maybe they just sold this or if you had a subscription long enough, you'd get this and you could put your maps in there. And I didn't even realize that on the inside has a list of all the maps the man has. Ooh, and that says stars. So I didn't look through here, but this is always nice collage material and there are a ton in there. So that was a great find for $2. So I'll look through that off camera to see if there's um, like what the stars one looks like and if there's anything like extra in there because I did see like there was this tucked inside. I didn't see the one with the stars and they're numbered over here and on some of them they've he's um he's got the numbers written on the map so I don't see the stars one I'll have to take a closer look later but this was tucked in between. I don't know, uh, Madrid, Noche, night, October, 1952, 50 something. A nice little collage material. She wanted $3 for this, and I just thought it had such a cool old look to it. It's just like some beads from something, but it was in this little box and it just spoke to me. My whole total at the sale was only 17. So the book, the table, and this came to nine. And then I got this awesome magazine for three. So that meant all the other little stuff just came to $5. The magazine or book is called Fortune and it has this really neat cover. And actually now I'm seeing it better as to what it is. It's jewelry. So it looks like this landscape, but this is a pearl necklace. And then this is a bracelet rhinestones. We've got different earrings. December 1935. This was uh, $1 a copy, $10 a year. I paid three. So I love the cover. And then it's got great ads and colors in here. This is a Lincoln and it has this castle. What's that? Um, for a connoisseur's Christmas. So there's a lot of, oh, and it's December. Okay, so it's the Christmas edition. Let's 
see what some of the pages. Ooh, let's see. I keep saying, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I just liked the color. I thought the price was right. That's pretty. It says a fun map of Southern California. That is a fun map. That is a bright red. The colors are amazing on some of these pages. It's just wild. Thrill for sale. That's a Buick, so they're advertising a lot of trips and a lot of cars. So the car was $765. And this Christmas present, round the world cruise for $854. Back in 1935. <laughs> Beer in cans. Lots of wine. Okay, so trips, alcohol, and cars. Whiskey. Hmm. It's funny. There was a couple other um, pages that really caught my eye. Here's an orchid beautiful watercolor look and then look at how beautiful the colors are and this inky blue background that's just solid and this is silver you have this bridge again just beautiful artwork and and silver ink or silver printing there here's the back cover there's a lot of color ads in here a lot of artwork just a real cool magazine for the art. The rest of the items came to $5. A box of birthday candles. And I ran into Brainstorm Rodeo and he told me there was some upstairs. So I grabbed this pack because I don't have it and I liked that it said birthday. There was a craft room and I picked up some velvet red and green. I liked the color on this and it said $18.99 in the corner. A picture frame, Charling Silversmiths, guaranteed not to tarnish. And I loved that emblem on the back. And I kind of figured that with these little things, they weren't gonna come up to, to much as far as cost. A box of Denison stars. There's a couple stars in there. I don't believe I have a blue box. I have a lot of red, but not blue. This appears to be a menu for the restaurant that's in the Eiffel Tower. And it's in French and there's prices. And on the back. So I put that in my bag. This was a neat frame. I liked the green on it. It's got silver. It's got those little sharp points to keep it all together. I'm always on the hunt for little books, and this one has a very uh, nouveau design. It's the New Testament. It appears to be suede. And there's marble, paper, gold edges printed in London. I don't see a date on it, but um, this, oh yeah, printed in England. And then a few um, of these for the Viewmaster. And I picked up a Viewmaster before and uh, my daughter likes to look at it. So I thought I'd get her some new slides. Mother Goose Rhymes. I mean, I just love those little sculptures. So there was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the Three Little Pigs, Jack and the Beanstalk, Mother Goose, and let's see. And I guess they're just one little picture, like it's a little Miss Muffet, maybe a picture too. Jack Be Nimble. A couple pictures to illustrate each one and the little booklet that um, I guess you can read the whole little, little poem that comes along with it. So thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you in another video. Bye.